wakeboarding, originally called ski boarding, was created by innovative surfers toying around with surfing while being towed behind the boat. It was their way to catch more waves with or without Mother Nature's cooperation. By 1985, SoCal surfer Tony Finn and Aussie surfer Jeff Darby invented the Skurfer, a blend between a ski and a surfboard. Its advancement was the addition of foot straps to allow for higher jumps and more fluid motions. Tony was tireless in his efforts to promote his new product, making the ski boarding sport increasingly popular. In 1990, ESPN organized and televised the first Skurfer Skiboard World Championships in Hawaii. Eric Perez took the overall title that year and even defended it against Darren Shapiro the following year. In 1991, skiboarding became wakeboarding thanks to Canadian inventor Paul Frazier. It was also in 1991 that Paul and Herb O'Brien invented a revolutionary new board called the Hyperlite, a neutral buoyancy board that made deep water starts much easier. The Hyperlite opened up the sport of wakeboarding to countless more people. Darren Shapiro soon became the poster boy for the Hyperlite design and went on to win 12 world championships with it. The Hyperlite design and the competitor to it, created by Tony Finn and Jimmy Redmond's new company WakeTech, led to a tidal wave of development for wakeboarding as a sport and led to the rise of new tournaments where emerging athletes would claim championship titles. Such examples include 14-year-old Parks Bonifay, who won the inaugural X Games in 1997, Greg Nelson, Sean Murray, Scott Byerly, Zane Schwenk, Dean Lavelle, and Shannon Best to name a few. But making a better board was only part of the solution. The other, how to create a bigger and better wake. From the early to mid 90s, boat manufacturers were on the quest to do just that. From ballast bags to wake plates to trim tabs, the quest to build the perfect wake continues on today. From its humble beginnings as a way for surfers to simply catch waves, to now the most popular towed water sport, wakeboarding has captured the heart of water sports enthusiasts across the globe and has come an incredibly long way in just 30 short years.